Hey, and uh, if you're looking for a new gadget, don't be so fast to throw out the one it's going to replace. There's actually money to be made for that old cell phone, laptop, or other electronics. Kelly Graham from SmartMoney.com joins us this morning. Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so first thing you say here, don't prepay. Some would go, wait a minute. I'm, I'm trading in this device to get money back for it. Why the heck would I prepay anyway? Well, something we've seen uh, recently from Best Buy and Square Trade is that they're offering consumers the chance that when you buy a new gadget, you can pay you know $20 or more at that point to lock in a resale price for it down the line. And that sounds really tempting to people who are thinking, you know, I don't know how much this is going to be worth in two years. So getting 30% back, 40% back sounds really good. And it can be until you realize that there are so many other free sites and trade-in programs out there that are going to offer usually even better deals than what these uh, these buyback programs are offering. Plus the you don't have to factor in that fee of what you paid up front for just for the right to sell it back. And, and, and who knew this? You can actually get more back for a phone than you paid for it. How? You can. This is absolutely great. We've seen a lot of this with uh, iPhone sales recently. There's just so much international demand for smartphones that oftentimes if you're selling a phone that's about at least a year old, but usually within the one to two year period, you can get um, hundreds of dollars back for it. So more than you paid in that subsidized phone price, something like an iPhone 4, you're getting about $360 back right now in the secondary market. That's more than the $200 that most people paid for it last year and enough to pay for some of those early termination fees if you want to switch carriers. And the key is making sure that you look within a finite period of time. We're not talking about trading in an older model phone, two or three years old, yes. you know, one to two years, you said. Yeah, the, the older the phone, the less you're going to get for it. So, you know, really the newer the phone, the better shape you're going to be. And don't be mad, by the way, when you don't get all of your money back for a phone that you're trading in and you've got a cracked screen. Yes, condition is absolutely key for anyone who's trading in any sort of an older device. You really do need to make sure that it is in peak condition. Even with some of these buyback programs, that's not going to help you if, if you're turning in a phone that's damaged. They're going to give you much less money for it. So uh, really do think about when you're buying a gadget that's portable, like a laptop or a cell phone, invest in that screen protector, invest in a case, and really that, that you'll see that on the back end of things in, in resale value. And a lot of stores have these programs. Uh, let's see, Target, Sears, Costco, Walmart, Best Buy, you say shop around. You really should shop around for it just because you never know who's going to give you the best rate and they do vary based on what they're going to do with the gadget. Are they reselling it? Are they recycling it? Are they using it for parts? And you just want to check around. You know, I was getting rid of my phone recently and found a $20 difference in some of these sites. You go to some of these places and you get credit back, a store credit card or a gift card for trading in this item. If you want cash, what can you do? If you want cash, you want to go directly to some of these trade-in sites, uh, gazelle.com, nextworth.com. They run a lot of the trade-in programs that you'll see at the major retailers, and there you're going to get cash directly as opposed to if you go to someplace Radio Shack, Target, you're going to get store credit, which might not be bad if you were already planning to shop there, but of course the stores are counting that you're going to spend even more than whatever that trade-in value is. Another man's trash, another man's treasure, huh? Make that money. Kelly exactly. Grant from SmartMoney.com. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you.